Hey everyone, I'm Sage Valentine. Welcome to my channel, the same name. Please excuse the sound in the background, but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the shooting in Charleston and how I feel about it. I'm completely annoyed by it. Even more than I was with the whole Rachel Dolezal thing, I'm just so glad she's out of the picture. But with Charleston, the thing that annoys me the most is you have these politicians all wondering and saying, well, where did this come from? I'm not sure why this happened. Acting like this is the first time that something tragic like this has happened to people of color in this country, particularly to black people in this country, and it's not. If you look through the history books, the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, the 10s, the late 1800s, I could go on and on. Things like this have happened. The problem is that a lot of people feel like because we are at a time where it's supposed to be more progressive, even with everything that's happened, people still believe that racism is over and that we are past that. Some people want to look at the whole model that Dr. King has created to look at the content of a person's character rather than the color of their skin. And the fact is that there are people out here who refuse to follow that, refuse to. And they harbor such hatred towards people of color, towards um, different religions, towards different forms or expressions of sexuality um, that they refuse to get past it. And the thing about this country is that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Everybody has their own First Amendment rights. But when you go out and decide to shoot a bunch of chill, a bunch of a bunch of older people and one young man, he decided to kill all of those people despite the fact that they opened their doors and they opened their hearts and they let this guy in the church, they gave him a Bible. He participated in Bible study. That is the scariest part of this whole situation. And then people wonder why when black people or people of color create their own spaces and then they feel kind of weary when other people come into these spaces, this is why they fear violence. It's not that they're angry at you because you are of a different race. It's because they're afraid. It's all fear. Which I wish that we could at some point be over, but unfortunately there are people in this world that don't want us to be or to get along because they want to perpetuate these stereotypes and they want to just hold this hatred in their hearts for the rest of their lives. Do I think that the families of the nine victims are foolish for forgiving this guy? No. Because, yeah, forgive him. But don't forget. Don't forget anything that he has done and be present at every one of his little trials when he comes up for parole. If you're not there, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, be there because there is something wrong with this man but he's not crazy but there is something wrong with him now I don't know if I could be as forgiving if he say killed my grandmother my mother my brother I would be sad but again I would I would move on from it and not hold that hatred towards him in my heart because he has to carry that where he's going. And there are people that are calling for the death penalty for him. No, he should have to live with his crime. Seriously, he should have to live with it. No easy way out because those people didn't get an easy way out. Um, after learning all the different stuff about this guy and him like posing with those like apartheid patches on his jackets and posing with these confederate flags and then um going on the internet and seeing people who just cannot understand why this flag is offensive but it's not surprising because i know a lot of people in my home state that also support the confederate flag 
and you have a right to support whatever you want to support so long as it does not infringe upon the rights or beliefs of others first amendment right but all i can think about now is those families and those teenagers that lost their mom and just this did not have to happen it really did not have to happen it's one thing to have a fear an ideology than to act on it in such a violent way and the scariest part is that this happened in a church a place that's supposed to be sacred despite what happened in the past I thought for a split second we were past this but my mom said we were going backwards and obviously we are going backwards but I did hear today that they're taking down the confederate flag well I don't believe that things need to be desecrated if they're gonna put it in a museum put it in a museum but um I think that's about all I have to say and yes that Rachel Dolezal circus was a hot mess and she annoyed the crap out of me and no 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 it's not cool for her to darken her skin and put that wig on and create this lie benefit from this lie and make money off of the lie and then have the nerve to be upset that she is fired from different positions because of her lies and she lied about a hate crime so like those people said on the internet the ones who do not look stereotypically black are upset with this woman because now she has made it harder for them and I'm sure some of you guys are just like what the hell are you talking about well there are people walking this earth that are multiracial or from multiracial backgrounds that appear to look like other races but they're not a part of these other races or they're mixed with different races but they consider themselves to be black people and it has made it harder for them but I found it pretty funny, pretty funny, that this woman chose, out of all of the towns in the city in this country, she chose Spokane, Washington. A place that barely has any black people and basically made that area look stupid because they accepted this woman that does not resemble a black woman or multiracial black woman at all in my opinion but thank you guys so much for listening to me hopefully this is my final rant because I'm, I'm done with all of this racial violence I just wish people would just stop and think keep your beliefs to yourself and keep it moving because if you feel that strongly towards somebody that you've never met that you don't know or a race of people that you quote unquote don't like stop and think because it's not worth taking anybody's life at all at all but um hit me up on twitter and google plus at sage valentine don't forget to rate this video comment and subscribe to my brand of crazy and most of all like ellen always says um be kind to one another and love one another because this world is getting crazy and just because the people who are dying don't look like you doesn't mean their lives do not matter. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>